Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor, here with my father, Mick Kevin. And today we are covering a record that has kind of been floating around in our our inboxes yes. for a bit. Yep. Um, Mick G, let's start off by saying that I, I don't know much about Mick G at all. I'll be quite honest. Um, this will be my first listen to. Another. Michael Gordon is his name. You knew that. From New Jersey, yeah. Okay, so you know, well, why don't you tell me he went about to music. Him? He went to music school. <laughs> you tell me about him. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> you did your Wikipedia search before this? I just did a little this morning because I, 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 was, I was scrolling through TikTok the other day. Um, and we can come back to how we got this, but I was scrolling through TikTok the other day. I stumbled upon Mr. Clapton's page. I hit it. Uh, I started watching. I'm like, my friend Clapton's got a TikTok, right? Yeah. And he was right there talking about Michael Gordon McGee, saying just said he's got such an. He hasn't heard someone using the, the guitar the way he has since Prince. Interesting. Since Prince came out, which is I I had a DM sent to me on on Twitter. Uh, somebody saying that uh, pr- there's a Prince sound. Oh, uh, really? They said Prince, they, they threw a bunch of names. They said the Mick G album is like if you combine Prince, Michael Jackson. Oh, Genesis? Genesis, Frank Ocean, you mix them all together. Yeah, yeah. You get this album. And I was like, okay, that sounds interesting enough uh, to check out. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to hear guitar. I see that uh, Michael Gordon, uh, McGee, has a, uh, a black Stratocaster. I think you should just call him McGee. McGee, okay. You don't know this guy. Well, I, but I know <laughs> you, my, you're talking to him like you're. You keep bringing up his full name as because, if you guys are buddies. No, no, it's like you wouldn't call. You know what I mean? Like, what? What other artists have we called by their full name? Uh, by their real name? Yeah, Elton John. Chapel. Well, no, but like artists like that that go by a name, an alias that we've called by their name. I don't think. I, I don't think, yeah, I don't think you've ever called Future his... No, yeah. you don't call him his real name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. All of that aside, the uh, the biggest um, kind of inspiration for me to listen to this record is uh, my friend, my good friend, Ayrton. He edits our videos sometimes when I'm busy. Um, he is here for all our interview, almost all our interviews uh, to, yep. to film, get pictures. Yeah, he, he, helps, he helps me bathe. He does everything. Yeah, great, um, great guy. He might even edit this video because I know he loves this album so much, so maybe I'll send it to him. He was here for the Wallows interview, and all three members, Braden, Dylan, and Cole, said, with Ayrton, like I had four people saying, yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got to listen to the record. Yeah, you've yeah. got to listen to the record. It's yeah, great. crazy. Um, and then he gave them a shout-out, too, when he went after our Mag Bay interview he was like hey you guys should- yes Ayrton was here for the for the Magdalena Bay interview and uh we were talking about newer music and he said you guys got to listen to this album so yeah he's been recommending it a lot of people have been recommending does he get it. kickbacks from somebody I don't <laughs> Is know he working maybe, in the industry maybe, maybe he's secretly working in the industry and getting <laughs> yeah. money for this um shout out to Ayrton uh and I'm excited to listen to this record because yeah it's Ayrton certified <laughs> that's yeah that's what we have to Ayrton certified I'm excited for this one I'm going in with like hmm, high hopes. Two Star and the Dream Police by Mick G. Track number one, New Low. I like the percussion. Yeah. Really creative mixing right off. Mm hmm. There's that dirt like Mag Bay, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm hearing so many different things. It's hard to categorize this. Yeah. Like, I'm hearing, like, almost like Bon Iver influence. I hear, like, some... Yes. Almost some Frank Ocean, but there's yeah. some dirt to it. I yeah. don't know. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. The Bon Iver is like, that's a good point. This that felt nice on my ears. That did. It was like, <laughs> I was like giving it close little track. oral massage. Okay, cool intro. Uh, I gotta say, this style already. I don't know how to categorize it. So yeah, I think uh, I think that I think that's a good thing. 
Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I, it's originality. Yeah. Yeah. No. I uh, and I like the song. The uh, thing I didn't hear there was guitar. I heard a st- one stroke. I think. Yeah. In there somewhere. Um, so I, I'm hoping that we get to hear some guitar in this album because Clapton talked about him being a guitar player. Yeah. Well, a lot of people talk about his guitar playing. Yeah. I like the mix. I like the. I like. I like. I the really mix. like the mix. Actually. Yeah. So surprisingly, I I thought at first it caught me off guard just because it's so odd. Yeah. But then I I really grew into it and then. That little end piece kind of just tickled something. Yeah, yeah. I, I felt like my whole body shiver, and <laughs> I don't want to know what it tickled. But you know what? Uh, I'm starting to hear what Mag Bay had in a few of that 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 distorted thing. Yeah, people are starting to use that. Yeah, I don't know where it came from, but I like it. Track number two. How many miles? Like it already. Oh, we need some. Can we get? Oh, I turned it up. Yeah. If you got something, go hide it. Well, there's that guitar. Yeah. Lady Luck, don't you find that this time will leave you dying? After all this time, I could have remembered me. This is really good. This is a recent song. Beautiful voice. Yeah. This shit is great. That. That's his unique sound. That's unique, man. This here. I really like this. So do I. It's what is it? It's watery. It's it's, it's got like wah to it, but I. I but don't no wah. It's watery, no, milky. It's milky. That's a good word. Yeah. Yeah. Milky guitar. How was, many miles was really good. I didn't know he could sing like that. Uh, if I'm being quite honest, I yeah. thought he was more production guitar oriented. I yeah. didn't know that his voice was like you know prominent in this record. Good singer, great side stick, really catchy. Uh, I have to say that those, if this song, if he just played it straight and went on the guitar and then the side stick and yeah. sang it, it, it could be like. Eh. It'd, be, it'd be a good song. It'd be, a good it'd be song. nothing special. The elements that he adds, those those weird this watery things, and that, and, and the it's that's what's that brings it to a, this. This is fucking original. This is different. Yeah, and I could see what Clapton's talking about in terms terms of sound, right? Yeah, yeah. Like so, I I I, I want to hear more. Let's keep going. With yeah. That. <laughs> Track number three. Are you looking up? I like that. If you wanna go, then maybe go wild. So are you looking up? Are you asking why high? This is fresh. This is good. It's fresh, man. Wow. If you wanna go, then maybe go wild. Yeah, we can put it on a rest one night. Is that you? No. Oh, that was a synth. Sounds like a knife coming out of there. Yes, a sword. Yeah. It sounds like the garbage is being picked up. Yeah. That was a trippy sound for me, man. I literally yeah. thought a garbage truck was here. No, but it's a nice way to transition to this shaker yeah. thing here. Yeah. Doesn't that give it a bit of an industrial feel? Yeah, I feel like we're in a warehouse. Yes, yeah. I think an alley. The Smith Wright is picking up. That was a catchy little number. I want to say something that maybe someone else hasn't really brought up. Maybe they have, but I haven't read it or whatever. Um, His opening riff there and that riff throughout that thing is very... Very Lindsay Buckingham from Fleetwood Mac. Oh, that uh, I can see that as soon as, yeah, you know, I can tell you how many what songs there. With that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very. Lin- I didn't think of that until you just said it, and then it clicked. I and I, his voice, yeah, very Lindsay Buck. I could hear Lindsay Buckingham doing that song. Well, I I get what people mean when they say there's so many influences. We're yeah. only three tracks in, but it's like I hear so many different sounds. Yeah. Uh, from artists I recognize, but not 
copying them. Like it's almost like a, I don't know. He's taking yeah, like exactly. a little bit of inspiration from everybody, but it's just yeah. it's presented in such a unique way. Yeah, the vocal pattern and the and the, for me that like that was just like I was I had the a warm, industrial feel. Yeah, but 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 the industrial feel is some. You know, Lindsey Buckingham is fucking one of my favorite f- favorite guitar players. Man, I saw him at the Commodore alone by himself with his really? band. Oh my God, when he did Tusk. It, it, and he has that. He had. It's you know. He's just. Wa- if you haven't had a chance to watch Lindy, Lindsay Buckingham, mm-hmm. pick him up on YouTube and look and watch him play guitar solo. And that riff there. Yeah. You know that coming up the up the neck. Um, that was just that was great. And I love the element of the surprise. Those it sounded like uh, like I don't know garbage cans. <laughs> it did. It yeah, like, it was cool. Track number four. D N. M. The song's titled D N M apparently stands for Dijon and Mike, perhaps due to the fact that the song was co-produced between the two of them. Somebody said Dijon, we should listen to his record. It's a bit pitched up. Yeah. Or he's singing high, I don't know. Yeah. Nice. I love the originality on this, man. It's really cool. Yeah. I love that people like him are taking chances and doing new shit. Yeah. These, those, I legit have no idea where the song's going. Like, and I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought. See, I thought there was gonna be another horn blow there. Yeah. And it didn't. But yeah. Well, that. Look at that. Went out of tune there. I want to pause it there. Yeah. It seems like it's transitioning. The yep. other really cool song. Um, I love how I don't know what the fuck is gonna coming happen. around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like even with. We just did Mag Bay, and with that record, it was hard to predict where things were going. Yeah, but at least you had a small grasp of like okay, where it's I where can it's heading. Kind of see, there's a bass line here that makes sense, and yeah, 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 you know, for sure. Maybe some weird trumpet will come in or synth at some point, but yeah. it's like I kind of get it. This, uh, no clue. Every track, I'm like, I don't know where, where, where the going, f- what yeah, the yeah. fuck is. Could you compare happen. this album to this, the listening to this, to something that you've like been in like in the past? Like Cl- closest I could say is Blonde, probably. Yeah, that's the closest I can think to uh, in terms of like experiences that I've had like this. Where you're going, wow, what's coming up next? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like a genuine like just confusion, but like excitement at the same yeah. time. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it, you know what? I love that people are taking, like, I have to say that elements of this has, have been done in the past, right? Yeah, of course. Like there's just, you know, the, the different things, but the way he's putting the elements together in the ingredients is different. He's assembled it, but it's disassembled at the same yeah. time, right? Like that ending there was just like literally. That was one point he went down the piano. It was out of tune. Yeah. Like it was. It was. It was. It was, it was an art piece. Track number five. You got it. This is a nice, soothing album. Very. I think he's got guitar in there. I was going to say, is that a harmony, like vocal harmony or guitar I think harmony? he's following his... So that's really cool. Man, you know, I get... I get Frank and Tizo feels. Frank, Tizo, Steve Lacey. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. Bon Iver. See, that's definitely... Really affected guitar, which I think Clapton might yeah. be talking about there. It's a really chill album. It's you know what? It's, it's probably the perfect album for me today for like having a, a really rough night. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's nice to just sit here and listen to that when, and and just sort of be taken away. The songs for me are a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit short. I mean, I mean more of more of 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 the structure of the song, neck not bringing you to an emotional point, 
an, um, an emotional height that, and then it then it drops you mm. off and lets you sort of settle. That sort of sort of that but, song that song was just. But do you want that with an album that is this short? Do you want an emotional rise and fall in each on song? every track? Maybe because maybe not. No, think you're probably going to be listening to this in one sitting. It's thirty three minutes. You're yeah, not, yeah, it's yeah. not something you're going to split up over. Yeah, you know, multiple days, t- days yeah, yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So. With if every track followed that same structure where you went to like a really emotional high and a, something big happened, I feel like it would yeah. get tiring. But I think on a 30, 30 minute, 33 minutes, what is 33. it? 33. 33 minute album, I think maybe like two songs on there can bring you to a, a mo- emotional high. We might be there. Well, we might that's get what there. I'm saying. We're only on track six. Track number six, <laughs> Riley and I. <laughs> Is that guitar that really? I don't know, but that's the that, that's running the percussion for us through the song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So far, I'm not digging this one. Um, I'm hoping it picks up here. It it really does. There's a record you haven't listened to, Bon Iver, uh I I. Yeah. Uh, very similar feeling. I, I'm getting. Yeah. But yeah, I would agree. Probably my least favorite. Uh, yeah, so yeah. far. I have a feeling this record is is one that's not built to be like to have a lot of standalone singles. Like I do feel like this is probably one that you'd want to listen to front to back, yeah, like yeah. almost like as if it's a thirty three minute you know song. Yeah, I, I I would I might skip that one for me. Like the the the, the highlight of that for me was the that guitar sound or whatever that was trying to try the percussion. Yeah, doing the percussion thing there, but I felt that one it just didn't, you know, I mean, some some songs move you, some songs don't, right? Yeah, I was I wasn't moved by it, uh but I yeah. I didn't I didn't dislike it. Um, yeah, yeah. like I wouldn't I wouldn't skip it. Track number 7, Candy. Yeah, everybody it's likes a, it's a Paul and Nutini cover. Cover, yes, yeah, yes, Candy. Yeah. <laughs> I like the melody right yeah. away. You nailed it. The melody. Yeah. The melody is really good. That's all guitar there. Yeah. That's great. I like this. Like this. This one's great. Yeah. I cut you slack. You cut me mine. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. I got what I wanted already. Yeah. Right here. Such a cool guitar sound. Great. I really like this. This is great. Yeah, this might actually be my favorite so yeah. far. I think I know what Mr. Clapton means now. That was a really, really original guitar sound. That was yeah, fabulous. That was really cool. Um, I love the melody right off the bat. Yeah. I, I even said first. Like, it was a winning melody yeah, right off the bat. Yeah, I was like, bat. boom. Melody's great. Um, yeah. And then he could have just kept the song simple, and I would have been like, that's good. But then he doubled down and went with the guitar solo and, yeah, yeah. and the really cool effect. Um, very original effect, man. Yeah, t- to make it like a really fantastic song, yeah. and then come back to the chorus again to finish it. I thought that was that was great. Track number eight, I want. But this is Phil Collins for a I'm second. I'm just gonna, <laughs> man. You, <laughs> I can feel it. Yeah, great sound though. Yeah. I love how muted it all is, eh? Yeah. It's very muted. Have you heard the Genesis influence yet that people have said? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, uh, it's lines. Great. Yeah, very nice. This is my first big shiver on this album. Just where it's here. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Almost had the fucking pill calls. Cool. Yeah. I thought he was gonna go boo doom boo doom boo doom boo I still wanna say his voice is really beautiful. It's great. I would like to hear him sing live like and push because his vocals in this are I get where they are. Like, yeah. They're yeah. in the mix for a reason. They are for but, totally. like I feel like he could really, especially on this track. Yeah, how softly things are going right now. I was it there. That hey could, man, hey, we said right before. I said, will I want crack its way into the top three? It might it, have. You know what I loved about the what gave me the shivvy, shivvies? <laughs> shivvies. It gave me the shivvies was oh oh oh. Just the just, pacing, just the pace, and it was, and it just moved along so softly, muted, and then it had that little squirp at the end. That was a really nice, chill track. And you know, like you said, he's got a great voice, but on that one, I don't think he needed to to go in the upper register and get clear. It was, yeah, it, it felt it was, perfect. How it was, was like, oh, well. that's that's why I pointed it out. Yeah. I was like, I know he can sing good, uh, but you know where it was sitting in the mix was, was great, was fine. I had yeah. no complaints. Track number nine. Alasis. Alasis? Alasis. Alasis? Oasis. No, Alasis. Alasis. Alasis is a, is a drum machine. Okay. I don't know if it's Num that. Number nine. Number nine. Alasis. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, actually, I'm thinking Alasis might be, uh, that was one of my first rack reverbs. Uh He, cool. went, he literally went to a closet. Yeah, eh? cool place for the vocals yeah. there. I like the. I like that. That was really cool. The effect on that. Yeah. So did I. Oh, that was. Like it, it. actually felt like a almost like a storytelling uh, yeah, element. Element. Yeah. Yeah. Used. Yeah. 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 Like the way he stepped back. Yes, yeah. To get distance to say those lines. I'm bummed we missed him now. Uh, yeah, I mean we can probably catch him again somewhere. Yeah. Well, knowing Ayrton, he probably has like two hours of footage. That's right. Yeah. Camcorder. That's one of the more like straightforward tracks. Yes, with with the full drums, right? Yeah, drums kind of all the yeah, way yeah. through. I like that one a lot. Track number ten, "Break the Spell." That's guitar there, man. That was, that's crazy effects. I don't know what he's using. Doesn't hear that. How much flanging and shit is going on? This is sonically appealing to my yeah deformed ears. <laughs> That sluggy snare. Is it, it's like, oh, yeah. I can't make it to the beat. <laughs> it's trying its best. Yeah. It's edibles. <laughs> like, I love people taking chances, man. Yeah. That's what makes it evolves everything. It's. That's fantastic. A little riff there. Yeah. 
Fuck, love that guitar sound. It's freaking me out. I like it so much. This is a song I, I'm definitely going to have on repeat because it's just so chill. It's And it's like a good length, too. It's like four minutes. It's great. I am going to listen to that outside. For going in, on a walk? In, in the sun this afternoon. Yeah, I'm going to listen to this album today. I'm going to give it a couple yep. listens because it's so short and I really want to listen to it without us yeah, without Yeah, without me. Yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I understand that. <laughs> no. uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I know a lot of uh, uh, super noodlers, uh, finger fuckers, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Great, great, can, great, great players. They, they, they can go all across the thing, the f- but they just don't have the style, the touch, the feel, the soul, the soul that yeah. just that was like he the way he was keeping everything palm muted and like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's the little pit, little bits he let out. Yeah. Blick, you know, here with Blick, but the rest is palm muted with that sound. That was really, it gives really. It a, gives it a weird human feeling. Really, really human. As the album, we opened up and it was there wasn't much on the very first track. But Back half, a lot of guitar. A lot of guitar, which is which is really nice. He's what in, we were looking for, yeah. Introducing himself with that. So uh, shout out to uh, Michael Gordon. Yes. <laughs> Track number 11, a little bit more. Holy harmonics. I like this. Heaven decided Everything you want in your life is yours You open it all Just a little bit more Heaven decided Nice harmonies. I got lots of Frank here, man. I tell you, I don't know if you hear, but oh, for sure. Yeah, wow. Far left harmony, eh? Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's cool. Yeah, these vocals are very Frank. I don't know. I it feels like. Love the mixture of the plucking of the guitar and those old pianos. Yeah, they're just sort of doing a little dance together. That was cool. That was that was another one that like I feel like break the spell was like a high point. And then this yeah, is yeah. what I'm saying. These are like these you know lesser, less intense tracks. You yeah, know, yeah, very chill. Yeah, um, that's why I feel like this album would be a very fun full listen. Thirty. Like, I'm, I'm gonna minutes, yeah. probably go for a walk today and listen to this track number twelve, Dream Police. You know, also, you know what else I'm going to say? The drums on this album, the way the use of them, really remind me of uh, early, like Gen- Genesis, Genesis yeah. and the Peter Gabriel's So. Solo stuff? The album So. so yeah. S- yeah, yeah. The, That's the one they did the document, not the documentary, yeah, the yeah. episode on. Yeah. Great vocal stacks. Oh my god, he he got some deep. Yeah. That's Steve Lukather's guitar sound from Toto. I mentioned else? it before. And he played Human Nature by Michael Jackson. Yeah, but who else did we do that recently that had that sound? Yeah, it was someone else. else. Yeah. Was, was it Meg? I was gonna say it was a Meg. Yeah. Nice thumpy toms, really wet. Hey, listen to those. Yeah. They're really. No. It was Sabrina Carpenter. Yes, you're yeah, right. There we go. Jack Antonoff. Yeah. 1975, The Connection. There we go. Glad someone's young here. <laughs> well, I was thinking the whole time trying to go through the albums. <laughs> oh, oh. It's just a hard cut. Did, did it just stop like that? It just stop like that, yeah. Strange. I was waiting for like it to fade out or something. And yeah, yeah, just, yeah. 
cut. I fuck. I love Dream Police. I thought it was a phenomenal, like a great, such a great, a weird way to end the album with a just a hard stop. Yeah. Um. Don't know because he because of the other tracks he was adding squiggles and, and farts they were, and they were flowing together. Flowing together. Yeah. 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 I found it odd that it just you know ended like that. Yeah. But. Okay, I, I get it. I think I get the hype that people are talking about. I understand yeah. why people were saying you should check it out. It's very unique. Um, you know, I'm not going to go and say, okay, this is my album of the year right away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I get why people were saying it's worth checking out, and I think I, I think it was worth checking. out. I think out. it was worth checking out too. I'm exactly in the same boat as you. It's, I'm the, I'm not going. It's like, woof, man. It's like it blew my balls away and all that kind of stuff. A O T Y. Yeah, I don't like that term. But earlier we we're talking about uh, all the different influences. I heard a, a few different influences that uh, were not mentioned, which was Lindsey Buckingham for one. Yes. Uh, even the drums on there, Mick Fleetwood at the end, would sound like Tusk. Boom, boom, boom. Those yeah. nice ones. Um, a lot, but very, very unique guitar sound and a great great voice and somebody creating art yeah like i said uh my opinion hasn't changed or my thought hasn't changed throughout the record every song kind of felt like a portrait that i was or a picture yeah. painting not a portrait painting that i was uh looking at and trying to decipher decipher and, and usually by the end of the track i kind of got it yeah uh the same way that you go into an art museum and you look at something and you stare at it for you know amount of time and then yeah. you slowly start to put it together and get a grasp um the lyrics to me kind of feel like the little blurb at the bottom of of the painting painting yeah, yeah. Where you can go read about the painter and what it's about yeah um but like you first you look at it and you figure it out on your own and then that's you read yeah. it yeah i found the album uh very enjoyable uh we'll be giving it another listen today um on my own time so i can just kind of give it a full listen front to back i hope you guys had fun listening to this record uh if it was your first time listening to the record with us uh i recommend checking it out on your own time i had a lot of fun today did you have some fun dad i enjoyed I, yourself i enjoyed myself and i hope you guys had fun hope you enjoyed watching uh let us know uh if you are mcgee fans he's got earlier stuff if you guys have been following him for a while, uh, let us know how you feel about this this record. If you like it, if you hate it, let us know. Uh, give us your thoughts. Down here, somewhere. Yeah, in, the, in the comments. Take care, guys. We'll see you soon. Peace.